Hey there, everyone. It's Malik. Uh, sorry I've been away for so long. Um, things have been kind of hectic recently with everything going on. So I wanted to share with you guys my own personal take on a witch's ball. Now, for those who don't know, a witch's ball was actually originally made of blown glass, and they were meant to disrupt any kind of negative or malicious entity from being able to enter your home. But with, of course, materials changing over time, like this one, I have a plastic one here that I have taken a rose branch that I let dry for a few weeks. You know, you just have to wait for it to dry completely. So that way you can cut it up a little easier. Or if you want to use fresh, that's okay too. Um, I left the thorns on because thorns help with warding off evil and negative energies and also are for protection. So I also have a small thing of what I call gray salt um, mixed here with some bay leaf, which has also... So I actually burned a mixture of bay leaf and then I took a peppermint tea bag to which I added an eighth of a teaspoon of both lavender oil and cedar wood oil and then burned that as well. And I have that mixed with a teaspoon of salt and it's been enchanted for to help neutralize any kind of negative energy. Um, right here I have an example. Um, since this is going to be a protection witch's ball, um, I have an example of a pentacle here, but you can use any kind of protection symbol that calls to you. Now when it comes to the protection symbol, you can do this one of three ways. You can fold it up, of course folding it away from you because you're wanting to protect, so you want to banish away negative energies. You can just fold it up and put it into the bottle. You can anoint it with any condition oil that calls to you. This one I actually made um, from a video by the Lady Grave Dancer or Lady Grave Dancer. It's very simple. It's just red pepper flakes, cinnamon, and salt. And I have it in a base of olive oil. So I'm going to use that for mine. And she calls it fire water, even though it's an oil, but the name fits. Um, I'm also going to be adding some whole cloves. Um, now, I've actually done two of these in glass jars, and they work fine. But I have powdered clove in that. So, But if you're going to use whole clove, um, use any number that calls to you. I will be using nine. Um... Clove is actually good for, of course, banishing negative energies. It's also good to protect from slander and gossip, if that's what you're looking for. Um, I have cayenne pepper here. Cayenne pepper helps with breaking curses. Um, I've actually used it when combined with clove before because it's actually really good for a return to sender mix. If you mix cayenne pepper, clove, salt, pepper, and if you want to, garlic, because garlic is of course protection and banishing. Um, I have ginger here. Now with ginger I'm doing more of a hoodoo, voodoo route with this. Ginger being used with that to actually add power to a spell. So I will be adding a little bit of that. And, oh, and the third option, if you really wanted to, for the for the protection symbol. Sorry about that, I forgot until just this moment. Um, if you do choose to anoint it, instead of folding it, you can roll it up and tie it with your choice of either red, white, or black cord. Red, of course, being uh, protection, especially with the fire element. Black is for banishing as well as protection, and white being purification. Like if you're wanting to protect with like a white light, 
I do hope this helps everyone, and if you like it, um, if you happen to like it, you know, hit the thumbs up, and yeah, uh, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I know I don't post that often, but I will start posting a, hopefully a lot more. Um, I don't know when, but I might start posting every week or so. I don't know. I haven't quite figured that out. Anyway, I hope this helps. Have a wonderful day and blessed be.